Well, good evening. Danville City Schools are still learning virtually, but school leaders are doing something unusual to determine what happens next. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is in Danville tonight, explaining how parents are getting involved in the return to school plan. Tonight, a few dozen parents and students met here, socially distancing in the auditorium at George Washington High School. It's one of 11 meetings scheduled for parents to give their feedback on returning to the classroom directly to the superintendent. Our next opportunities. Danville City School leaders are planning for the future, even if they're not quite there yet. On Monday, parents like Shamir Prunty came with questions and ideas for administrators who are all ears. I had a lot of good information on the safety of the classrooms and how the kids will get there. They also make sure that all of the are School leaders shared this video showing the cleaning they'll do once students do move back into the classroom. Interim Superintendent Catherine McGorg says health data is still the driving factor, but parents should be included too. That by being inclusive, listening, thinking about our plan and including as many people as possible, that when we open, we will have thought of everything that can go right and everything that could go wrong. The listening sessions are a series with each school getting its own dedicated time. This one is with elementary school families. And while other divisions may be taking parent feedback, Danville is the only one doing it like this. We don't all have the same ideas. We don't have the same answers. But sometimes when people talk about it, if I know that the same topic keeps coming up, keeps coming up, keeps coming up, I need to address it very loudly. The superintendent presents her back to the classroom plan to the school board on October 15th. Prunty hasn't made up her mind on her kids, but is anxious to see what they come up with. I want to send them back, but with these masks on for about seven to eight hours, I don't know how that's going to work. Virtual learning is really good, but I think that in school is important too. Now there still are a number of these other listening sessions left with opportunities for you to give your feedback to the school leaders. We've got a list with dates, times and locations in this story on WSLS.com. In Danville, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.